All right, now, as you guys know, we are currently facing a deadly disease, one that's threatening our very existence. It's already infected millions of people. If we don't stop it now, this could be the end of the world as we know it. I'm talking, of course, about TikTok. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, definitely. Now, what do we know? Posting on TikTok leads to mad fame. Scrolling through TikTok leads to mad cancer, especially in the eyes, brain, and self-esteem, as one of the possible side effects includes the realization that you are f***ing ugly, but it only gets worse. Wait, are we not going to talk about COVID? Because, I mean, that's actually, like, killed a lot of people. God damn it, Trevor. Okay, what have we been saying? TikTok is the virus. COVID is the distraction, okay? We focus on the virus. But people are actually dying from Where COVID. did TikTok come from? China. Where did COVID originate? China. Which app is in danger of being banned? Well, TikTok, but that was like months after COVID. And what can China see? The future. Right, yeah. So if you could just grab two things and two other things and put them together at your earliest convenience, that would be great. Now, how does it all work? Once you're infected with the desire to get maximum views for minimum effort, aka f***ing everybody, the app gives you exactly one minute to be either entertaining, interesting, funny, or you have exactly one minute to be hot. We recommend just being hot. Because of the inverse relationship between looks and effort, Plus on this app, you can just copy trends and use famous songs in the background. So most of the work is done for you. What if someone's funny or entertaining or interesting and also hot? Mm, that's what we call an anomaly. A glitch in the matrix, if you will. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it leads to widespread depression since most people are none of the above. Looking at you, Trevor. That was uncalled Wait, for. sorry. So that means if my video didn't go viral, then I'm... Ugly. Yeah. I told you it's a side effect and it's tough to hear, but we have to stay focused, you guys, because things get a lot worse when we look at thirst levels. Now, as you all know, the average thirst level on a given social media site or app is a 23, but on TikTok, three times higher. So that means... Yeah, we've hit ThirstCon69. The thirstiest this world has ever been. Barely surpassing that time Pornhub was free for that one month. Oh yeah, great month. I bought a projector. But it gets even worse. We found in small pockets of the internet, thirst levels that are over 9,000. That's not possible. The source, OnlyFans. Then shouldn't our priority be stopping OnlyFans? You'd think. But the thing is, TikTok and OnlyFans are linked. They exist in this entangled state. So by destroying TikTok, we destroy OnlyFans. Now, in order to understand how this entangled state came to be, we need to look at the evolution of simping. Because for thousands of years, simping came in one form, the sugar daddy form, only possible to those who could provide a luxurious lifestyle. But over time, the need to simp on a budget or even for free became more and more obvious. Thus TikTok was born. And people flocked there in record numbers because you were able to get the views and validation that we all crave while giving that validation with the click of a button. But it wasn't enough. Soon TikTok creators started putting their Cash App and Venmo in their bios. This was simping made simple because you didn't really have to go do any extra work as long as you had these apps. And they found that sending money to someone's Venmo or Cash App is one of the best ways to keep your simp hand strong. But there was still a need to simp more professionally while still on a budget. So engineers and software developers came up with this plan to create a pool of candidates that could all simp together for one or more people every single month. And thus OnlyFans was born, the link was complete, and the three levels of simping all became possible. So we thought. What do you mean, so we thought? After further analysis, we found that it runs much deeper. That's gonna be a mistake. See, people think they understand simping, but they don't. There are infinitely many forms spread across the internet and it's been in front of us this entire time. 
from the like button that evolved to reaction emojis, to retweet shares, upvotes, subscriptions, donations. It's all been ways for us to give our time, attention, money, and approval to other people in the hopes that we might get something back in return. The internet has been prepping us to simp for one another for years in an effort to destroy the world, and TikTok and OnlyFans might be the two-hitter combo that finally does it. Can I just ask, why do people pay for OnlyFans when there's free porn? I think people donate on OnlyFans because it's more personalized and there's more of a connection there. Plus, they might genuinely like the person behind the camera, right? It's kind of like someone donating on Patreon or Twitch. I mean, you can get that content elsewhere, right? But you might just want to support that creator. What? God damn it, Trevor. Okay, this TikTok girl is actually pretty hot. I can understand why some... Wait, what's going on? And that brings us to our next talking point. Schrodinger's Predator. God, these slides are well-timed. Anyways, due to the range of the people on this app, once you call a specific person hot, you enter a quantum state of being a sexual predator while not being one, of sitting in jail while sitting at home. Basically, Chris Hansen is telling you to have a seat while not talking to you at all. So how do we stop it? So far, the only cure is her putting her age in her bio. Once that happens, the quantum state collapses, and he finds out whether he's doing 5 to 10. All right, wait, so are there any side effects to paying for OnlyFans? Kyle, you don't pay for OnlyFans, do you? No, I'm just trying to get all the answers. Kyle? Yeah, I swear, I'm just trying to get the facts. It's me. I pay for OnlyFans. I, I didn't think it was a big deal. <coughs> All right, we are in full lockdown. Nobody goes in or out. So how bad is this? Once one person pays for OnlyFans, they start showing their friends, login info, share, they start splitting the monthly payments. Then that person finds other creators they wanna pay for, they make their own account, and it spreads from there. I cannot guarantee that we'll make it out of this alive, but we have to stay strong. I thought TikTok was just the same as Vine. Why, why wasn't this happening years ago? Why now? This isn't Vine anymore.